Uh, hello and welcome to round 8 of the Formula 11 League in Season 16 of the AOR Hype Energy F1 Leagues. Uh, we're here today in uh, France. Uh, the Paul Ricard circuit uh, new to the calendar in um, 2018. It's the first time the leagues have ever raced around this track. That's quite a big fact there. Uh, yeah, I can't, can't be bothered reading that. <laughs> Schumacher recalls the record for the most victories in the French Grand Prix. Did you know that? The German champs, eight victories between. Yes, yes. <laughs> Poor access and the remote location impacted spectator numbers which saw the French Grand Prix disappear from the F1 calendar after local motorsports federation withdrew its finance in 2008. The 2018 GP saw a 45... what? <laughs> Tires available today are the softs, the super softs and the ultra softs. One they're expecting one stop, one stop strategies. Um, yeah, everyone onto the yellow softs at some point, most likely. Um, yeah, have a look. <laughs> have a look over the driver today. <laughs> that doesn't exist because this broadcast isn't live. So you can vote for it in the f in the forum though, in the thread, in the race thread. And here's the track layout. A couple of long straights. And uh, two DRS zones. And about 15 corners. So, let's get into qualifying. Where we have... We're near the end of qualifying. Here you go. So seven minutes left. It has turned from dry to wet, I believe. So unfortunately, <laughs> I've only just noticed it got wet. It was dry to begin with, so I don't think anybody's going to go any faster. <laughs> and. Look at no, oh dear. Let's see what tires everybody is else on. Joker up into fifth place. He must have got his dry time in early. Everybody else would have been punished by that. It did look dull when it first started. I never noticed. So missed out. Does it sound good? So, this truck's got a few chicanes and 90 degree corners and a couple of long hairpins. Hazard just uh, is who won the last race at Monaco is currently on pole. He's quite a second as you just seen, and uh, this guy, this new guy, Ons, Ons Kurt. That's what, that's what we're calling him. Third. Can come to the pits. Joker fifth. Menk sixth. Magnus is 7th and that's a And Max Mill 9th and Fassi rounding up the top 10. Now these guys are 10 seconds lower than the pole time, obviously didn't get a dry time in. Mm. 
as you can see, we can actually get the best lap times at the set, and um, Joker may be out of position for this race start. I see the might be able to improve because SLI did have 144 on in ours. They may have been slightly drier though. Because we do love a glitchy engine. I'll see you going off a track. It's, uh, so it looks like nobody's going to improve. Unfortunately, we've still got three minutes left. So, we'll just sit here in silence. <laughs> the guy on the voiceover is talking a lot of rubbish. Party folks must be on a the lap. These three still to set a time. But Kane Jr. is closing up on his teammate. Party folks. Stuff oh, he's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the middle of nowhere. No front wing. Oh, this is unknown territory. Where's he going? Oh, now he's doing donuts on purpose. Oh, there's the marshal waving at him. Can you see the yellow flag? Party folks just celebrating his crash. You may get a penalty from the stewards for that. <laughs> Junior, right? We're just going to call him J from now on every time, right? Also, hasn't set a lap time. It's a disaster for Red Bull today. As Tim now starts his lap. So J is getting on. Dry line, you can 
can see you there, but too late to dry up fully. Into the last corner comes Jay anyway. Up the line. He's up to 10. So pretty good lap there from Jay. About his teammate. Here he comes up to the line and he moves up two positions or one just Parry Fox doesn't set lap so forty six zero so J ends up being the fastest man in the way. Well forty three nine but that is eight point eight seconds slow the hazard. He set his time on the super softs. Well, it doesn't matter because this has been declared as a wet qualifying and everyone will have free choice on their race tires. So, Hazard's on pole. Squid joins up on the front row. Unscrew the Turkish man. In third, Hignaldi fourth. Joker up in fifth. Unbelievable. Meg six. Magnus in seventh. Naz in eighth. Max roll ninth. And J rounds out the top ten. SLI eleventh. Fassi twelfth. Kram thirteenth. Victor Lassa fourteenth. Reprimanded fifteenth. Tim sixteenth. Kane Jr. seventeenth. And party folks with no time in 18th. So, while uh, we wait for people to get their strategies and uh, Setups. Let's look at the current championship standings. So, as you can see, Footyad back on top. Two consecutive six places. Has put him one point ahead of Menk. Only scored one point last time out. Nazem in third, only five points behind. He finished eighth in Montreal. It squid in fourth in the standings. He finished fourth in the last race. He's on 56 points. And then Maxwell, six further points behind. He did not finish, and that could be crucial come the end of the season if he wants to win this championship. Cramps, six, did not get any points. Last time out, Party Fuchs up to 7th, J in 8th, SLI 9th, and Victor Wassa in 10th. Victor Wassa has only done two races and he's finished 1st and 2nd in both of those. Well, yeah. He is on 43 points and is the informed driver. Joker did not finish the last race due to technical issues. Still struggling with them, 
can he get a clean race in tonight? Ignaldi, 15th last week's race winner, Hazard, 25 points, puts him into 13th in the standings. Reprimanded, did not turn up for the last race. King Jr. finished 13th, Tim in 9th. Tim should be much higher than that. He has DNF'd 4 races though, and not scored a point in another. Magdus in 17th, he's been struggling at the back. Um, Slime, 18th. And uh, that Slime has scored 0 points. But, um, yeah. So that's the standings, very close after 7 races. Let's hope it continues. And if we do have a title designer for the last race, we may have a special guest commenting, but it all depends on the drivers keeping it close. If they want that special guest. <laughs> so, yes, back to today's race though. We're all lining up on the grid. Some people may be out of position due to that qualifying. We'll see how everyone gets on. That's better. Three lights, four, five. And we're away in the Ferrari gets much better start than Hazard. Squid looks like he might go going up into the lead. And who's that on the outside? It's a uh, Unskirt. He's up the inside in the Ferrari. No, he falls in second, third. And Yali Joker stay in fifth, Maxwell six, and then there's a bit of a mess behind. We've got Nazim off the track there, and the G is under pressure from the Force India going into the, the quick issue cane. SLY, the two Force Indias, and Victor Wasa. Oh, Victor Wasa up the inside, his teammate! No! The teammates hit each other, Victor Wasa has burst his way through though. And we've got a bit of lag there. Mercedes, and oh! Oh dear, let's go back to the front. Onskar has taken the lead, what the hell's happened to Squid? Unbelievable, Hazard into third. Squid, uh, Hazard in second, sorry, uh, Squid third, Hignaldi fourth, Joker still fifth, avoiding all the mess so far. Onskar trying to weave out to the uh, Hazard slipstream. And we've got a yellow flag, reprimanded is out. And we won't see what happened to him because of stuff. Unscar coming into the final corner for the first time in this race. He's gonna lead by four tenths a second, but Hazard is very close to him. And we've got Squid who had a really good start. Looked like he was gonna well, he did take the lead, but then he made a mistake. Oh, there's a Claren in the wall! Hignaldi smashes out of this race. There must have been some wheel banging there. And Hignaldi's race is over in a flash. Unbelievable. Onskar, the newcomer. In fact, yes, he is newcomer. It's fast, he's already got a three second time penalty. Hazard is half a second behind the leader, Squid, for Joker up to fourth actually. Signaldi did bin it. I wonder if he had an answer with Joker. But there's quite a big gap in front of Joker and behind. As Maxwell is under pressure from these group, and we've got the Force India up the inside of the Sabar. And not quite. Menk maintains his position. Menk second in the championship, is going to need to make some progress. Oh, I haven't mentioned that Futiad is not here tonight. So. He is up against Nazem, and Nazem is just in front of him as he makes the move on the Force India. Although he's went a bit wide there, 
and he's going to let the Force India back past. Sauber has got the slipstream now. But the Force India's got the slipstream in the Mercedes. The Mercedes has, has, has got very scared <laughs> and went off the truck. Victor Vasa makes another move. Oh, we've only got this Sauber oh, around the outside of the Mercedes. He's back up the inside. Oh, it's a bit tight, but the Sauber keeps on the track. And that gives Victor Wasser a bit of a gap. And we've got Red Bull going up the inside of the Mercedes. Is he going to make the move? No, not quite. But then we've got the Red Bull fighting with Party Fox. Party Fox comes back. At him. Where is he? We don't know. Jay, where's Jay? On the left hand side, just to let Party Fox through. Party Fox up into the points after starting last. He's going to make another move up inside. Oh, he keeps on the track just. Mercedes tries to get the cup back. Can't really overtake the others. The Renault goes very wide, and now somehow he's only just fell back behind the Nelson. But we have cramps on his right hand side, and Haas really close up his gearbox. And now Cramps up the inside of Party Fox. Not very good cameras. But Party Fox back up the inside of Cramps. Cramps extending the truck. Oh, and Party Fox cuts the truck a bit, gets a bit loose on the curb. And Cramps takes the position. But now we're going to have the Red Bull challenging both of them. That's the set behind for now as oh, Party Fox goes off the track and has to let them all through. Party Fox may have got a warning for that from the game. Back and forth racing here as the Renault's going to stick up the inside of Cramps and Party Fox across the track again. That's the sit behind. We're going to have to switch to the leaders. As Menk is. Uh, Unsker has decided to pick from the lead. And he's gotten a put on the super soft tyres. I would have thought he would have put the soft tyres on. So he's going to two stop this race. Is he? Or can he do 22 laps in the super -sauce? I don't think he can. Let's go back to this fight. Party Fuchs, Farsi, Jay. Oh, it's Jay challenging the Williams. He's up the inside of Farsi. Takes the position but goes wide and lets Williams back up the inside. Is that going to give Kane a chance to get past the Red Bull also? The Williams speeds around the outside. Here comes Kane Jr. He's got the slipstream of the Williams but here comes the Mercedes. Where the hell they come from? Whoa! That's Onsker with the new tyres. He has flown past everybody and that will be crucial him getting past that traffic in that space of time. So now we have Kane up the inside of the Williams. Kane makes the move into 13th. Oh, and guess what? I've still got the standings up on your screen, so hope you've enjoyed the first half of that race. <laughs> Here you can see the cars now. 
Something goes wrong every week. <laughs> so you've missed some exciting news in here. I'm glad you've joined us. His cramps get a free second time penalty. We've now switched them from the radio to TV. Hazard leads by 4.2 seconds. Joker up in third. That is five and a half seconds behind. However, here's a seven second gap over Maxwell. And we have. It's very close in midfield. Oh, the Red Bull! Makes a late move up the inside, but doesn't quite have the momentum. And here comes Maxwell. Will the Red Bull be able to keep up the inside? Oh, the Ferrari a bit wide. And the Ferrari sweeps past. No, he doesn't. Oh, he does. Oh, oh the Red Bull is up the inside. Oh, it's switching back. It's switched back. It's unbelievable. This. Has the Red Bull now. Has the momentum. Around the outside. And has the inside for the next corner. It's all getting a bit mental here. As several, a couple of people pet, maybe one person. And now we have Maxwell, Tim, and Mank going side by side here. And the Red Bull has to let the Ferrari go, but he will have the run. He cuts this. Ah, oh, lovely move there from Tim up into fourth place. And Mank's been watching this, and so is Cramps. Cramps up the inside of Mank. And Mank. Has to had to cut the track and has lost position to SLI. So Cramp settles behind Maxwell and Tim is now creating the gap. Let's see how many people have pitted one of the guys near the back. But now here comes Cramps up the inside of Maxwell. And if you look behind, it's now over three wide! Oh, nearly close to collision there as Meg stays ahead from. The net race leader, Onskar. Onskar absolutely flying here. As Menk now looking to go up the inside of Ferrari. Oh, I think there's been a bit of lag there. Lag contact as Maxwell is having a tour of France. As Maxwell's got a warning for that. Tour. It's not very nice. As we now have Onskar looking to make up another position here. As Joker and Squid Wolf pet. Onskar's not going to get the move done this time. So much fresher tyres though. He's not going to. Get there and it sounded like Onskar's saving a bit of ERS there. There's cramps trying to pressure Tim into a mistake. As Hazard's yet to pit for his stop. Cramps could be gonna be going long into this race as he is on the harder softs. Here he comes on the slower tire but the that Tim's tyres will have worn off. He goes up the inside and he is past. Will Tim have a go back at him? I don't think he's got enough momentum as we go through this fast right hander. As fast as got a warning for. There's a penalty for multiple warnings. And that looks like it's done. Will has a come to the pits? No, he doesn't. He stays out. Started on the softs as it was a wet qualifying. Be many varying strategies here. Squid and Joker are both pitted. Talking of that, uh, Squid was just past Jay. Jay has not pitted yet, but Squid on the much fresher tyres. And Jay looks like he's struggling a bit. Meanwhile, here's Joker. Who is hasn't been really near any cars apart from the start. 
and the uh, enjoy pets in the front of them. It's up to ninth. And you should be going to the end of these tires. So look at Maxwell getting quite close to Magnuson. And these guys have all pitted. Anderson on the faster tires ahead, but Maxwell is the faster driver. As we've seen so far this season, Magnuson has struggled. How close can he get? Gains up a lot of ground in here and he might dive up the inside here now. Yes. Magnuson covers that off well. Oh, bit loose from Magnuson and it looks like we're going to see Maxwell make the move here. Magnuson doesn't put up any defence. And up into 12th place he goes. Let's go up to SLI. Meg and Onskar. Onskar has pitted and it looks like he's in the best, the best position to win this race. We're on lap 10. And Onskar is absolutely flying. He is. Only half a second now behind cramps. Oh, a bit loose. Well, it might be the lag, but Oscar now has the run. As Nazem gets warnings, penalties for warnings. Into the chicane, the cam, and Onskar has made that move, and now all we're waiting on is Hazard to pit. And here he is, leading by 23 seconds, but still yet to pit. He will have much fresher tyres. I'm presuming he will pit for the soft tyres, so this might actually be closer than we think, because Onskar is on quicker tyres. And we did think it was a one stop from starting on the ultras or the super softs and going on to the softs, but he started on ultras, I believe, and went into softs, super softs. So Hazard might be in a better position than we think. As let's go up. No, nope, wrong way. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's SLI pets. And Caden's quite close to him. Maybe a bit too far back to make the move. Caden with a tough season for so far, as we're about to say, and he twitches and goes off the track and loses a couple seconds. Not staying on board with that mess. Is Menk trying to close in on Cramps? And Cramps actually staying pretty close to Unsker, who may have ruined his tyres already. As Hazard pits for soft tyres, and that was a bit of a glitch. He was already gone. Let's see where he comes out. If we can get proper thing here. Oh, it's really close. And Mercedes takes the lead. However, Hazard is on tyres to the end. And they are fresher as well. So, Hazard, now the favourite to win this race. 
he did start on pole. Onscar looked like he was a machine. But look at the run that Hazard has got. And he takes the lead. Hazard into first place. Onscar down to second. But Onscar coming back at him. He's got the line, has he? No, Hazard maintains it. Will Onscar try and get back past? No, he's locked up, going a bit wide. He looks like the opportunity to come back maybe all gone. As Hazard edges away now. He's still on in DRS eh, soon. But it's not he's not close enough to take advantage. This team this came at the pits and has sped, so they are gonna have to wait now for five seconds. And now they will service the car. Is these three still close to each other? SLI, Nazem and Menk. Wasa now has a three second time penalty. The on form man not having a very good day today. As Onscar has clawed Hazard back in. Looks like Hazard may have made a mistake. Let's look at these tire lives. Let's get on eight lap old super softs. He may be in the final. Well, his tires. <laughs> his his tires last a long time in this game. But he will have lost optimum performance now from those tires. And Hazard just edging the way now has a second gap. Perhaps the field's starting to spread out a bit more. So it's Hazard at Leeds, Hanscar second, Cramps in third. Squid in fourth, after taking the lead into that turn one. Joker in fifth, is losing time to Mink each like the basic championship leader now if he finishes the race in the points Mink is catching Joker Nazem has fell back and he has SLI on his tail is he close enough to make a move no he's going to stick behind locks up his left front and has, has put him out of position to challenge for the rest of the lap. As Onskar now has a 3 second time penalty, that is going to hamper his chances, any chance he had of winning this race. And Hazard also sets the fastest lap. Party Fuchs is an absolute disaster since we saw him early on. He uh, is down into last place where he started and 30 seconds behind G. But in fact, we have G, Magnuson, and Kane Jr. closest to each other. 
Is Magus enough some sort of runner here? He's, he's always in a better position than Jay is to make a move here. Oh, and Madison on the ancient tires. That's DRS. Gets a bit of wheel spin. Is he going to make the move? He does. Magnussen gets ahead of Jay. But the Red Bulls come straight back at him. Got the undercut. Turn one and gets back past. That's Fassi trying to make a move on Victor Wasa. Really on his gearbox. So he has Nazam on 10, 11, 10, 11 lap old tyres on the super softs. Fuel spreading out a bit here. Let's go on board for a lap. Um, eventually, with your race leader, Hazard, who has a seven second gap now. And that was a lap of Paul Ricard with your race leader. Who has seen his lead increase because Onscar has pitted, as we suspected, for another set of super softs. And so we we'll have to watch out for him. His cramps has been as started on the super on the softs as came in for his super soft tires. So he will also be quick. And in fact, Mank has caught and passed Joker. So Mank trying to take advantage as much as he can. Nazem 
down in 14th place, not in the best position, although Nazem has just pitted and will possibly gain some positions from there. Here comes Krabs, just pitted, and so did Suhazonska. So this is for position up the inside, Onska. He goes up into sixth place. As far as he gets penalty for multiple warnings, haven't been keeping track of these penalties in this race, so we may have seen may see a few changes at the final standings. As we have Cramps now making the move on SLI on the fresher tires. Pretty easy. Now here comes Onska also on fresher tires. He's probably going to make the move. And he does. Onska falls Cramps through. SLI trying to get to the end on this set of tires. These guys now will go on the hunt after Joker and probably catch him as well these two should be working together really not fighting but Cramps has to defend from Oscar is Oscar going to pull out to the right he does last second and Cramps Cannot turn in, but Unskar may have cut the corner there and has got another penalty. What's a wheel spin? Will and Cramps gets DRS, but he's too far back to get back past. Snazam's quite close to, uh, to uh, G. And he's only just pitted. And we've just witnessed him cut the corner and get a penalty. Gonna go around the outside, is he? Oh. G did hold it alongside him, but Nazem has much more grip. G on the living lap old tires. So the position changes. Mank up by three, Joker up by one, but could that could change very soon, we've got Cramps up by 7, looking to increase that even more. And we've got Kane also up by 7, he's in the points. Let's have a look at this. As, as uh, Onskar has now got very close to Joker, <coughs> but Onskar does have a penalty and right around the outside he goes. I wonder if Joker has been told by Jeff he doesn't need to fight him. And that was a bit weird, a bit of lag, spike maybe there. As uh, Cramps gets past. So we have about six laps to go, and Joker needs to stay within six seconds of. Onscar to get that position back. Mm 
Party Fuchs close to Victor was I? No oh, stubby there and up the inside. And he makes the move stick. Or does he? Because Victor Wasser has the inside lines. Party Fuchs keeps on the track, but Victor Wasser has the inside line for the next. Here yeah, comes Party Fuchs, he undercuts him back. Oh, brilliant stuff from Party Fuchs. And wait for the force, India has the run and will have DRS maybe. Pulls out to the right hand side. And he sails past Party Fuchs. No Party Fuchs get the undercut again. He will now have the run. Going into this fast right hander. He has to pull to the left though. That's Victor. Hands, hands in the middle of the track. Side by side. Into the last sector of the track. And the force in there hangs on. Whoa, and what's happened there? The party folks is may have had a technical problem. As they all just slow down all of a sudden. Oh well we, well that's because of hazard the leader is there. That's why Hazard has such a big lead. Can Party Fuchs get past Victor Wasser? We'll see, but that's not for points. What is for points though? Is this SLI? SLI and Joker, I believe, did have a fight at Baku. And SLI just could not get past with a lack of straight line speed. Here we are, Joker has three lap older soft tyres. But on these tyres it won't be much of a difference. As we are now on to lap 23. Joker goes a bit wide. SLI getting closer and closer. Will SLI get him in the next couple of laps? the last couple of corners on the track and SLI will have DRS or Dizzy don't think he did actually he does here he comes oh just too late and now looking to Looking to uh, pass him on this back straight. Bit twitchy, but along the straight is. We may just do it. Here he comes. Are we going to get to the braking zone too quickly? We are. The Joker goes a bit wide, and so does SLI. He's not going to get there into this last sector, so we may have to wait another lap. It's 
So we have a yellow flag somewhere. We have been party folks. We have score up to Onska quickly. Sonska has caught up to Mink. Is he going to make the move at turn one? No, not close enough. This for the final closing position. Onska has pitted twice. You can hear him saving ERS. Lifts into the corner. And looks like he's eyeing him up from the back straight. As he changed his ERS just as he broke for that corner. Yes, I think I will be close enough, I believe. No, no, maybe not. We'll get to this breaking zone. It's going to be a late move. Oh, it's going for it. No, has to cut the corner. We'll have to run out. It's going to pull out to the right. And he will take the position. However, that's pending penalties. Once got up and deferred. Let's go back to SLI on Joker. Also have Kane on J, but he's not close enough. No SLI, how close are you this time? Looks like you might have him now. No, just he's just not getting there in time. He needs to get a better run out of the corner. comes on the outside and Joker has this falling behind and SLI is finally passed already here comes Joker he has the run back at him he's gonna pull it to the right is he gonna get the move back off him he does he's round the outs on the inside he's got the car he's got the run on the inside Joker a bit wide oh. Not talking gibberish, Joker takes a place back. He's not giving up yet. SLI will have the RS onto this straight. He's he looks like he's gonna have him to turn one. Joker defends. Oh, Joker st sticks it there. Joker <laughs> will have the run back at him. As Nathan gets a penalty. But Joker's gonna have to sit behind and wait. Maybe. As here comes Hazard. On his final sector. Of the track. Around that final corner. He dominated last time in Montreal. He's dominated again today. Hazard wins here at Paul Ricard. Joker can't get past SLI now. Will he have saved ERS for this straight? He got back past him. I think he's a bit too far back. He will be. He's just gonna have to hope SLI makes a mistake now. And I think he's far too far back. Squid. And the final corner gets a solid second place.
Here comes Unska. Oh, someone's up with that. That's a lie, that's a lie, made a mistake. Or they hit each other or whatever. Joker takes the place back again. And if I'm absolutely sure he's gonna claim sixth place, which is all he needs to do to win the world title. No, it's not. He's only six. <laughs> SLIs, madam. The AI is mad. Maxwell gets eighth. Tame in ninth. Nazan takes a final point in tenth. J is gonna hold on from Kane to take eleventh place. Wow, crazy race today, man. Crazy race today. Here's your podium celebrations. Hazard dominating today. Wins the race. Well, what a race we've seen today! Some amazing racing. You saw, and finally, once I took the standings off the screen, you were able to see Hazard wins by 31 seconds and gets no penalties. Squid in second, Menk in third, he will take the championship lead. Onsker, the new, the newcomer in fourth, cramps fifth, Joker sixth place. After that, he gets no penalties in the end. SLI 7th, he threw away what should have been 6th, but we didn't see what happened. He must have run wide. Maxwell 8th, Tame in 9th, and Kane rounds up the top 10 and gets a point. Nazam 11th, J 12th, Max in 13th, Victor Wasa 14th, Barry Fuchs 15th, Fassi 16th, and Yaldi 17th, and reprimanded. Also, Well, that was an exciting race. Uh, next time, next time out, we are at Austria, <laughs> which has a lot of overtaking opportunities and heavy braking zones, long straights. So I uh, hope you join me again then. So uh, I've been Erte. Uh, best supermodel you are, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.